nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today, when it comes to the Apple Watch, I will be happy to let you know that the release candidate version of the biggest update in watchOS history since the original release of the Apple Watch has just been released and I have it here on my Apple Watch. If we go into our settings, go to general and go to where it says software update right here. You can see I have watchOS 10 and this is the release candidate. The update size that I have here is 318 megabytes that's because i had been testing this on the beta and the one that i have for today here is the developer beta if you're a public beta tester it should be coming out pretty soon as well and in case you are curious to know the download file size if you open up your apple watch app on the iphone and try to update there's going to be a new terms and conditions screen that pops up like this and once you agree You'll be able to see the estimated time and the download size and if you go back a little bit and go to where it says storage right there it just takes a moment to load and right here you can see watch always 10 the release candidate version for me is taking up 570.4 megabytes now Fortunately, there's a lot of things that Apple released today besides watchOS and we also got an idea of when the official release is going to be coming out. So if we go to the Apple operating system or developer page right here, you can see today Apple released iOS 17 RC alongside that iPad OS 17 RC. We got Mac OS 14 release candidate and we also have watchOS 10 RC, of course. This is the video for that that I'm doing. And we have tvOS 17 RC. Most of these updates that you see here, I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Aftech. So if you wanna get to know your devices and know this operating system better, do subscribe so that you stay up to date. For the release date of watchOS 10, the official public release not the beta if you go to this publicly available website developer.apple.com right there and you choose your watch os 10 page you will see here we have the official release page here and it's going to be released next week monday that is on september 18 2023 and it's going to be available for these devices that you see listed here so watch os 10 is supported from the apple watch series 4 and the apple watch se2 is supported but as long as you have the apple watch series 4 or newer then your device is going to be getting watch os 10 and keep in mind that for you to be able to update your device or your watch if you don't have a cellular model you will need to update your iphone first to ios 17 that just came out to the release candidate so you need an iphone that is the iphone se second gen or newer or the iphone xr or newer to be able to update to ios 17 then once your iphone is updated then you can go ahead and update your apple watch series 4 or newer to watch os 10 and get to enjoy the new features and changes now just like that and my device is now up to date with smiling away and disappearing to the new update so just to show you if we go to our notifications tab here and you can see our watch is up to date about 40 minutes ago so i've been testing and trying to find what's new within this update but we'll begin by looking at the software changes so if we go to general and go to the about watch section right here you can see version is 10.0 and the build number we have on file is 21r3 five six this is a final build and unless there's in an issue that's found with this release candidate version then this is going to be the final version that's going to be released to the public next week monday now when it comes to some of the new features and changes that are here with this update there's actually quite a few but the first one i want to show you it sort of caught me off guard but if you look at the icons that we have here especially on this middle section it seems like the depth has been improved and there's minor color changes to this like for example the compass the this um, app store application and a few others seems to have upgraded icon 
interfaces so just minor thing and then when it comes to the newly announced double tap gesture control to be able to access the main function of this watch i haven't been able to locate that function but i'll keep testing maybe it's hidden in one of the other menus but as of now on the main apple watch ultra one not the new one that has been announced it's not yet there as of my knowledge for now now when it comes to some new watch faces that i hear I'll be happy to show you. You can see even Snoopy is excited to be able to show you some of those. So if I press and hold this and go to the add new watch face selector here, you can see we have quite a few. And if I click here, you can see we have modular ultra. This is the new watch face that has just recently been announced for the Apple watch ultra two. And not only that, we just add it for now so that you see how it looks and you can see you can change the elevation and the bezels. And then if you go to the style, you have this style that you can change too. So I like the longer style it looks unique. And then it has the auto night mode or you can set it to manual and you can change the colors this one is all colors combined and there's the different complications too that you can add to this watch face and i like the setup not only are they like in a line unlike before where it was just in the corners where you could add complications but this is something that's good but to not take too much time let's look at some other watch faces that are here so we saw the modular ultra and now there is the nike glob the night globe is now a new one that's here with the new night bands that shows um, time and seconds on the globe. And if we add it to our watch right here, you can see you can change the color. You have four complications in the corners. And then that's basically as much as you can add. And if you add it right here, you can see how it looks on the Apple Watch Ultra. If I lower my wrist and raise it up like this, you can see the animation that it makes i think if i was to tap on it or something you can I, I think it might be able to make some changes but yeah just to show you this is now here and then if we go and add the new watch face the palettes and the snoopy watch face wall well, we've had this from beta one and now there is this new solar analog and if we try and add it right here you can see how it looks and the style that we can change pretty neat and if we go to where it says light you can choose between dynamic bright and dark so i'll leave it on dynamic and then there's the color changes that we have and the complications but yeah this is how this watch face looks and you can see the second hand has a trail that follows it around it's pretty neat if i lower my wrist and raise it up again you can see the animation and if i go back to the nike globe this is how it looks and then if i go to the new uh, modular ultra this is how it looks it has more information and it really brings out the colors of the action button of the apple watch ultra and the digital crown the orange really pops out if i lower my wrist and raise it up like this this is how it looks and it says auto dark mode sensing now siri supposedly got some updates so let's ask siri how many hours did i sleep last Good night afternoon. let me try that again how many hours did i sleep last night okay so this has been updated as well and you can see that siri now takes you into the depth of the health app and shows you the metrics that you are asking and this is siri health inquiries that has been updated with this update of watch os 10 and you can scroll up and down and be able to see more metrics just from siri without having to go into the depth of the apple watch iphone application or having to use the apple watch to be able to see this metric so it's a quick and faster way but when it comes to on device siri i haven't been able to see a setting that allows me to trigger that on but if i go into my settings and go to siri you can see i can still have the siri lessons for siri or just hey siri raise to speak that's okay but then there's this siri history 
I think that was existing, but I'm just seeing it for the first time here. And the series responses as well that you can always change when spoken or how you want it to always respond. So that's good. And when it comes to workouts, I'll be happy to let you know that the workouts that were mentioned at today's event that has to do with outdoor cycle. When you begin a workout and you begin cycling, it will automatically trigger a live action on your iPhone and you'll be able to see uh, that live action and you can see it right here on my iPhone 14 Pro. So it shows how long I've been active for and if I was in motion, it's only that I'm sitting right now, but if I was in motion, it will be able to show different complications and different health zones. So if I go up like this, you can see my health zones and which zone I'm in and you can swipe to left and right and be able to change your music right from here or if you want you swipe up again you see your heart rate and you can split between your heart rates or as you do different laps and be able to see different information so digital crown allows you to see the elevation and gained elevation from your starting point and the average kilometers per hour or miles per hour depending on how you have you have this setup but you can see this is good and it's supported on the apple watch ultra and the series 8 and series 9 and it's also triggered also it automatically triggers this live action as you can see here when you click on it you get to see more information on your iphone it's pretty nice and neat generally those are the main new features and changes that i hear with the apple watch ultra running watch os 10 release candidate version it's a pretty neat new update that brings new watch faces to the apple watch ultra and it's good to see that apple didn't reserve this for the new apple watch ultra 2 but just to show you some of the release notes that i hear uh, you can see for watchOS 10 release candidate version, if you read the release notes, it has a bunch of resolved issues, but not everything is resolved 100%. It does still have some known issues like some cellular waypoints and that has to do with SOS as well. And there's also some fixed issues that are here, but overly coming from the beta, if you are on watchOS 10 beta, and you are thinking whether to be updating to the release candidate version, I would say definitely go for it. This is a more stable and an update that brings more features as well. And not only might this be the final release, but it does provide improvements in stability and security. So that's about it for me when it comes to this update. I will be covering this watchOS update pretty soon when it comes out on Monday. As we saw, that's when the release date is supposed to be. There's a bunch of stuff. You can see all these releases and there's a bunch more that Apple didn't highlight that I'll be covering in my full video. So do subscribe and uh, stay updated and then you'll be able to see what's new with watchOS 10 when it comes out next week. Now, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pain. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some kill it. Vanilla don't spill the conscious, steal the keys. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitary, the city tidal wave is seated like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversations flipping on the Bible page.